Okay, welcome to the Canon 6D DLSR review with the Moray effect. I'm going to be demonstrating the Moray effect. Uh, it unfortunately ruined this uh, video of a plane taking off. Now have a look. You'll notice the jagged lines in the plane as it takes off. Now what is the Moray effect? The Moray effect is common on DLSR cameras, not just the Canon brand of cameras. What basically happens is these DLSR cameras are designed for high resolution photos. And when they take videos, instead of doing a high quality down conversion, which you often see in post-production software programs or hardware, they have decided to take a bit of a cheap shortcut. What they've done is they've missed out horizontal lines when they do the video to bring it down to 1080p or 1920 by 1080 pixels. It's a little bit of a disappointment. I'm not too happy about it, which would be otherwise a very good Canon 6D camera. It's not going to stop me using it, but it is disappointing in footage like this. This is almost a once in a lifetime footage. How often do you see water planes taken off from a remote island? Not too often. Anyway, this is the video of the Moray effect from the Canon 6D. Now, how do you get rid of the Moray effect? Well, I've been told you can choose a soft focus, which will take away some of the resolution. And you can also just simply change the angle of the camera. I've changed the angle of the camera a few times when I've noticed the Moray effect, and it worked fine. It's really quite difficult to work out what's going to cause it and what isn't going to cause it. You can also choose a, uh, a little a gadget which plugs into your Canon 6D camera. It's a little bit expensive and I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to pay the extra money for it. I'm just going to keep an eye out for the Mori effect on the monitor and hopefully I'll catch it. Now on this video it was a bright sunny day and the monitor is not too good on bright sunny days. Anyone who's used a Canon 6D on a bright sunny day will know this. So when I was looking at it through the monitor, it didn't really show up. In fact, when I played it back, it didn't show up. It only showed up when I had it on my computer at home. And there it is, the Mori effect in its full blown out effect. Now I kind of destroyed this video, but Hey, you know, that's what happens. Sometimes you get the good ones and sometimes you get the bad ones. It's not going to stop me from using the Canon 6D, as I've said before. But anyway, keep an eye out for it and don't let it stop you using the camera.